Hi everyone, and welcome back to Artful. We're a few weeks now looking back at our watercolours, so this week for a change we'll be looking at our old friends, the Tombow Markers. I'll be taking you step by step on how I drew a zebra, so let's have a look. To begin with, I'm sketching out the head with our orange Tombow Marker. If you watched my last Tombow tutorial, you'll see that with these markers you can actually build up extra colour and tone. So this orange layer is going to be the base layer of our zebra that we're then going to go over with a blue marker. You can really use any combination of Tombow markers, but I've chosen the orange as the base layer. So any shadow or lighting we do will be orange as if it's sunset or sunrise on the savannah. I studied a lot of reference photos of zebras before starting this drawing. And one of the things I noticed was just how angular their heads were. So you can see I'm trying to get these kind of sharp corners to get that distinctive shape. For the ears, you're almost drawing a kind of pumpkin seed shape, and you'll see that I'm using the tip of the pen to draw those inner hairs. In one sweeping motion, I'm drawing the curvature of the spine, and then connecting the head to the neck. Now I'm drawing the zebra's nose and mouth, and you'll see that I'm almost drawing like an urn shape, and then I'm using the side of the brush pen to fill it in with the orange. Due to the angle that I'm drawing the zebra at, I don't have to draw both eyes, but to give the impression of the right eye, I'm using the tip of the Tombow marker to flick a little eyelash in, and then for the other eye, again, it's almost like a seed shape. Using a swift upward motion with your pen, you can now start to add the details of the zebra's mane. Leave some gaps with the details you are drawing with the orange pen, because like the body of the zebra, you are drawing a striped pattern. For the stripes in the face, you start off by drawing a diamond formation in the middle of the face with a line going from the nose to the top of its head. And then you can start to add some quick patterns around that diamond shape. Once you're finished with the face, you can add the stripes for the rest of the zebra. You'll see that I'm using some thinner stripes for its neck and some thicker stripes for its body. As I said in earlier tutorials, it's quite rare to have parallel straight lines in nature, so make sure these lines are quite curved and quite loose. One of the theories as to why zebras have stripes is a camouflage, so they can hide in the long grass from predators, so try and consider that when you're drawing the shape of the stripes. I'm using the finer tip of the orange Tombow marker to add the smaller bits of detail, such as the eye. And now it's time to swap your pens, take out your dark blue Tombow marker. And all you're really doing is tracing over the details that you've already drawn in your orange marker. I'm making sure that some of the orange detail underneath still shines through, like the shadow underneath the head that goes down the body, as well as some of the orange for the nose and mouth. It just gives the zebra a bit of texture and a bit of depth. The reason I chose the orange and blue together, because when you put the blue on top of the orange, it gives you quite a nice earthy tone, and I feel it's a bit more interesting than just making a black and white drawing. And here I am again using the finer point of the marker to add the details of the eyes. And there we are, it's finished. A nice two-tone zebra with your Tombow markers. This took me around 10 minutes to draw in total, but remember if you are struggling to draw freehand, you can sketch out your design in a light pencil and simply draw over this with your Tombow markers. 
I hope this tutorial showed you a new way to use your Tomboy markers and that you can create new tones or colours if you stack up your pens effectively. You don't even need the full range of colours, in fact many artists use a limited palette. So let us know in the comments down below how you're going to join your zebras or if there's just any other techniques or processes that you'd like us to cover. I really want to see everyone have a go at this tutorial so please tag me on Instagram at Artfulbox. I want to see them zebras. Like and subscribe to our YouTube to see some of our earlier videos and why not treat yourself and visit artful.co.uk. Thank you very much again for watching and we'll see you again soon.